Alright, hello everybody. Welcome to another Friday Fun Directed Draw. Uh, let me get my live stream up on my computer. Alright. So happy Friday. Um, I hope you guys have been doing well and having fun. I see that you guys are doing lots of fun stuff right now, so very happy to see that. It's another gorgeous day, and today we're going to be doing a directed draw of a pool floaty. Now, I was trying to figure out what we were going to do today because I feel like I'm running out of ideas. I have a lot of different uh, directed draws to do, but I have to like make sure I really want to draw it. So, um, I was like looking around my room and I found like a mini pool floaty thing that I got a while ago. And so we're going to go ahead and draw that. So, ta-da! We're going to be drawing this unicorn pool floaty. So we'll do our best. We'll try. And hopefully it'll look nice. Um, but yeah, we're going to wait a few minutes, see if anybody wants to join, and then we'll get started. Um, you'll need a piece of paper, any size. Um, I'm just using regular printer paper. You're going to need a pencil, maybe an eraser, a black marker for tracing, and any coloring uh, materials of your choice. So for me, I think... I'm trying to decide whether I want to do it in a marker or color pencil, so we'll figure that out along the way. But I'm just going to wait maybe like another minute and we'll get started. While we're waiting, has anybody seen Neowise, the comet? It's supposed to last until, I believe, July 23rd, and uh, it's supposed to show up like an hour after sunset. Um, I haven't had any luck with it. Uh, maybe I'm not looking in the right place, but uh, or maybe I'm not going at the right time. So if you find the Big Dipper in the sky, just look down and a little to your right, and it should be there. But it looks super cool. I'm trying to go see it. So get out there. Find the nice place where you can see the Big Dipper and it's going to be a little bit low. Um, I think it's supposed to be at the highest point around the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. So that's probably the best viewing point. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Again, with all my live stream directed draws they will be posted right after i am done on the youtube channel so it'll be there for you guys to enjoy and if you decide you don't really want to do anything you can just go there and draw some stuff or make stuff so all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw the base of the pool floaty so we're going to draw this kind of big maybe not too big but i'm going to start with an oval I'm going to sketch it out first and then I'll make it darker. And it's okay if it's not completely um, oval shape. That's totally fine. Um, okay. And again, when you are drawing your pictures, make sure you kind of do it lightly. So if you have to go back and erase it, you don't have to erase it so much and then the lines are still there so do it lightly I'm going to draw mine a little darker but that's because it'll be easier for you guys to see my lines are a little choppy but that's okay because they'll be straighter afterwards this is just a sketch all right, so I have a kind of oval shape. I'm going to make it a little bit more ovally over here. So we have our base. Now I'm going to do the neck 
and the head of the unicorn. So I'm going to do like a rectangular shape right here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can probably tell we're going to be doing a lot of erasing for this. And then I'm going to do kind of like a teardrop shape for the head. Um, but to make that easier, I'm going to draw a circle. Um, I think I'm going to do it a little lower, probably around here. So I have enough space for the horn. And then I'm going to do like a rounded soft V shape. You can do like a U shape if you want. And attach that to the front. And then I'm going to add the tail here. And the tail is a U shape. Like this, upside down U. And then it has a little swoop, so I'm going to go up, so do like another U. And kind of follow that, and we're going to make it round. It's not going to be pointy because it is plastic, and it is a pool floaty. So you're going to make it kind of as pointy as you can, but it's going to be rounded. And I'm going to bring this down and kind of curve it and attach it. So it looks like that. It's a very funky looking shape, but... There we have it. All right, so then I'm gonna come right here and we're gonna do an upside down soft V for the horn. And then the ear is gonna be over here and you're going to do an upside down V shape, but then we're going to kind of round out the edges and then the hair on the floaty kind of starts here so leave a little space behind your horn and go up and then around and then it gets a little wider back here and then down So now that we have our basic kind of shape, we're going to go ahead and erase all the other lines on the inside. So the base sketch of the circle, don't worry about the outside ones, we'll erase that after we trace. And I'm going to get rid of this line. And I'm actually going to flatten this out a little bit so it kind of attaches here. And I'm going to curve this out, make a little curve here. Like that. Okay. And I'm going to erase this part. And then from here, after I erase that, I'm going to extend this and then we're going to kind of close this with a curve. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and erase the lines inside the tail. I know usually most inner tube or pool floaty kind of stuff. Usually it's see-through. Um, I can show you how to draw that later, but this one is opaque, so it's not clear. You can't really see through it, so that's why I'm erasing those lines on there. So I'm just going to make my lines a little darker. So that's our base shape.
And again, I see that some people are joining. I can't see who joins on my computer, but um, for those of you who have just joined, this will be available on the YouTube channel, so you guys can go back at any time to rewatch it. I know live stream directed draws are kind of hard because if you pop in later, then it <laughs> it's hard to kind of catch up. So we have that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another oval kind of on the inside, but before I draw the actual circle, we're just going to do a little curve shape. So try to find the middle of this oval that you drew. Mine's about here. So I'm going to make a curve line right about here. I make that darker. And then what you do is you kind of just do an upside down U shape right here. Like that. So I'm actually going to make this a little rounder just so it follows that curved line. like that and we can erase these lines again you can just leave those lines later and erase them later um, but if you go and trace and you face the wrong line then it's kind of difficult that way and then you can't erase the pen so <coughs> excuse me oh. now you see that it has like a little line across here so we're going to go ahead and draw that and you can use the original line right here to kind of draw that. I'm going to start right over here in front of the neck and you're just going to draw a line that kind of cuts right in the middle and out like that. And if you want, you can kind of straighten this edge out a little bit. But make sure that it's still rounded. Okay. So we have that. Now, I'm going to add a few lines because it's not completely flat. So we'll make these crease lines going along down the side and all you have to do is just make a few you don't have to put too many but just do a few lines here and there but then follow the curve so if starting from over here you have to do the same curve and then right here in the middle about here these can be straight lines and then when you go over this way you have to curve it so that it looks like it's 3d Same thing on the inside here, you can kind of see that it has a little bit of lines on the inside part. And we can do a smaller little curve line here to show that there's a hole in the middle. And you can do a little lines over here and add some lines here, curve lines, because the neck, again, is not completely flat, and so is the front. So we're just gonna add a few of these little marks. So I did maybe about four. And then we also have to draw the eye, so we're gonna do a little circle. And this one has a little white circle right there. Okay. And if you want, you can add the little um, air hole, but you don't have to. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. And so now we're ready to trace. So I've got my black marker. And 
I'm going to do the ear first. Again, it's not super pointy, so don't make it too pointy. And then right here, it's um, there's a line. You do two lines like that. And the horn. Also has kind of like a little line like that. And you're just going to trace. Again, when you're drawing or you're tracing your art, um, try to use your whole arm because that gives you more control and it gives you straighter lines instead of you just using your wrist or your fingers. Um, it's hard, but it takes some practice. Sometimes I like to do like little circle shapes like that, but not too many to show that there is a crease. And we're about done with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my eraser and start erasing my lines. Sorry for the camera shakes. There we go, and now we can color it. So I'm going to leave the base of this white because it's white, and now you can have some fun and color the hair, the mane, and the tail. So I'm going to go ahead and do this with marker. Oh, I'm going to color in the eyes because the eye is black.
And then I have this color for the horn. You can use orange or yellow. Then use some red. And do a rainbow mane because it is a unicorn. highlighter for the purple because I don't have a purple marker. Same thing for the tail. And for the tail, I'm going to just follow the curved line. All right, and then we have our unicorn floaty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me do a really quick one to show you how to do a clear um, pool floaty. I'm just gonna do this one in pen. So let's see. You're gonna do the same basic shape. You're gonna do that oval. as best as you can. 
and then I'm going to find the center and do that curve and then another upside down curve and a smaller one and we have our midline little thing that runs along the edge so the seam so once you have it here what you're basically going to do is when you go to color let me do this part in pencil so this is the inside of the inner tube it kind of goes like that and we did the lines going across like this and basically you're gonna draw the inseam kind of going around like this And we're just going to do some more curves on the outside. So basically this line is going to kind of go around like this and it'll meet and you'll be able to see it and it'll go around. So it's another oval. And it'll connect here because this is where the other part starts. So for that, you can use a lighter um, color pencil like gray, or I'm going to use a light blue to kind of go over it to show you. like that go ahead and erase these lines and I'll show you what that looks like So you have something that looks like that. And we'll add that to it. And so when it goes over here, it kind of goes clear. And then same thing here. We did these lines to show that it's 3D. And there are folds. And that goes all the way around. And the reason why I'm doing it with a lighter pen instead of the darker one is to show that, yes, it is see-through. But it adds a little bit more dimension to it. And if it's see-through, you can't really tell. And let me color this in with a yellow. Oh, 
it's green. Whoops. Okay. So that's the other thing that I wanted to do is kind of do like a little line here to show that it is rounded. So don't color like me. I'm trying to do this really fast because I don't have enough time. But I will show you what this pool floaty, or this inner tube, is going to look like. So we have that. Now, because this is on the inside, if you want, you can go in and make this area slightly darker. It's not working. Let me find. So I'm only doing the area where it's the, a little see-through and making that area slightly darker because there's an overlap of material. So it has that impression that it is a little bit see-through. Now you can do this in any color and just do the same thing. So. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this directed draw of these pool floaties. I hope you guys had a great time. Um, I had fun drawing this, so hopefully I'll have something exciting for next week. And I will see you guys later. Oh, almost forgot. Make sure you guys stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you next time.